back to Prime News on HLN. A desperate search continues tonight in Winter Springs, Florida. That's where more than 100 people are looking for Nadia Bloom. There she is. The 11-year-old went in the woods near her house on Friday and has not been seen since. This has been an extensive search, and crews have been dealing with some really difficult elements here. We're dealing with very dense woods here. We're also dealing with marshland, as well as an urban interface with the subdivisions and so forth. And so it depends upon the type of uh, area that we're in that will determine what, you know, what we can do. And Nadia had recently been reading the American Girl's book. It's called Meet Lainey Holland. It's about an outside girl who likes camping and adventure. So that that's... You see that book, that's one of the keys here is police try and find this young girl. Uh, and we want to know, are, are they any closer to finding Nadia? Joining me to talk about this, uh, reporter Amanda Evans from our affiliate CFN 13. Amanda, do authorities have any solid leads at this case, at this point? You know, they don't. We're looking at more than 72 hours in this search, and they say they have not found anything of Nadia's. Not a shoe, not her backpack nothing now we do know that they've had some canine searches out in the woods behind her neighborhood and they are following a scent trail which leads searchers to believe that she has been back there okay what about this book this year the american girl series uh, this book here uh it, it somewhat glorifies uh the outdoors nature that type of thing is that the best lead they have right now that says she purposely went into the woods you know, they got that information last night when Nadia's younger sister got home from camp. They told her Nadia had been planning an adventure. And um, I don't know if you know that Nadia has a mild autism. And we're told she can get really focused on things. Mm. And at this point, had been really focused on adventure and taking this uh, exploration out into the woods. But the chief says at this point, they're not seeing any direct link except for that both little girls love nature. Okay. Does she have any supplies at all that would say she did go on her own little adventure? She had, did she have a backpack, anything? She did, you know, she had rode her bike out to the end of the cul-de-sac there and they actually found the bike with the kickstand up or helmet hanging from the handlebar, which is one of their first signs that there was no struggle. But she had gone out there with her backpack. She had a new camera, a video recorder, mm. and then this book with her. So uh, she, it sounded like she kind of knew what she was doing. She was going out there for a purpose. Describe the area for us, Amanda. How dangerous is it? It sounds like it's dense. Uh, you know, thick brush and that type of thing. Are there animals in there? I mean, what, what is she up against? Oh, yeah, her neighborhood backs right up against Lake Jessup, which is known for having alligators. In fact, mm. they had helicopters up overnight with heat cameras six different times last night, and they spotted dozens of animals out there and wildlife. Now, we asked the chief about those alligators and said at this point they haven't seen any that they're worried about, but it, it's, it's a jungle out there, literally. Mm. Let's bring in Stacey Kaiser real quick, our psychotherapist. Stacey, talking about an 11-year-old here who can, uh, slight autism, can be focused. What's going on with her inside of her mind as, as she went, which, which could have been an adventure to this 11-year-old? I think it's really possible that that's an accurate assessment of what's happened. Somebody who has mild autism does get really focused, but they also close out the rest of the world. Mm. So she wouldn't be paying attention to which direction she turned on, how far she was away from home, or even how long she was walking around. Okay. Guys, thanks again. We'll keep following this. Our thoughts and prayers are with Nadia and her family. Hope for her and pray for her safe return. Guys, thanks again. Uh, we have much.